This was a gold mining town, the richest strike in the state of Arizona at the time. Now a ghost town. Yeah. 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 Patty Burris lives here with Vino, her 38-year-old donkey. Come here, uh, there you go. Burris oh, says God. she's tired of undocumented migrants sneaking across her land from the Mexican border. Former President Donald Trump gets her vote. He's going to deport them. Yes, I am all for that. Absolutely, get them out of here, and he can do it. He knows how. While President Donald Trump ordered that a 740-kilometer wall be built at the U.S. southwestern border, this is the Arizona part of it. On his first day in office, Joe Biden paused any new construction. He could have had it completed in three weeks. But... Donald Trump returned to an Arizona border wall last Thursday, although the Washington Post reports this section he visited was built before he became president. Because there's never been a border in the whole world that's leaked like this border with all those millions and millions of criminals coming through. Democratic voters at their convention say their party is more tolerant. Immigrants, we belong, the neighbors, we take care of each other. That's really what it's all about. If elected, Vice President Kamala Harris promises a path to citizenship and the return of a bipartisan immigration bill that died in Congress. The Border Patrol endorsed it. But Donald Trump believes a border deal would hurt his campaign. So he ordered his allies in Congress to kill the deal. Back at the ghost town. So Harris would not control the border as Don't believe she... a word she says. Where's she been in the last four years? Nobody stops by the old deserted town much anymore. Burris says she'd like to go back to the time when she saw more tourists come through than migrants. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Pierce, Arizona.